Hey guys, Dr. Five here with episode number four of our England career mode on FIFA 19. We are into the knockout stages of the Euro 2020. We're taking on Portugal in our first knockout round. And I haven't uploaded in a couple of days. And yeah, sorry about that. Just taking a little break. But we're back. We're going to be back for the foreseeable future. Well, for the future for forever. We're going to be back. But yeah, Portugal will have the season three episode one of Lille tomorrow and then we'll move on remember the objective for Lille this season is to go invincible in the league if we lose one game I will look for another job in a different country with a different team so yeah we've just scored with Madison 27 minutes in he is the player I decided to bring instead of Jesse Lingard and as of right now it is working out perfectly for us as he is putting us through to a semi-final of a, a major international tournament. Jaden Sancho is bullying Rafael Guerrero down that side. His, his Dortmund... Well, I don't know if... Actually... Yeah, no. I don't know if he's still at Dortmund on the game. But in real life, that's his Dortmund teammate. And he's just bullied him. And he's put in a cross that Ben Shearwell has stuck home. He's starting this one ahead of Luke Shaw. And he makes it 2-0, doubling our lead. And we feel even more comfortable against Portugal. There with a little Ronaldo chop cuts inside. Headed just over the cross there by Marcus Rashford. From the resulting corner, Chamberlain's going to whip it in. Harry Kane's going to make it 3-0 before even half time. We are all over Portugal right now. We're getting revenge. We're getting revenge for the 2006 World Cup with Ronaldo and what he did to uh, old Wayne Rooney. But yeah, we're getting revenge. It is the 47th minute. Pickford just made a really nice save. Bruno Fernandes whips one to the edge of the box. Struck. Saved. Not really saved. He bounces it off the floor. Straight into the path of Liete. One of the Portuguese players. And he volleys at home. He makes it 3-1. Looking at the statistics. This is actually a very even game. We've just been much more clinical with our chances. Converting three of them. They've only converted one of them. And into the second half. You can see here. Nothing happened in that second half. And you can see here, we're just seeing out the clock, wasting a bit of time, flicking it up and clearing it away. 3-1 victors. We gave Abraham a bit of an appearance as well, you know. It's just a nice thing to do. Moving on to the semi-finals, where we will take on España. España. Uh, the 2020 Euros, I think, is the Euros that is all over Europe. If I do believe, if I... Yeah, I think it is. I think it's all over Europe. And I think the semi-final or the final is at Wembley. So, that's a pretty good one. Kind of crappy that you have to... Obviously, you can't go to every single game because that will cost a fucking fortune to go to every one of the games that your country plays. But quarter of an hour in, Raheem Sterling dinks one across. Harry Kane heads one home. He is ever, moving ever closer to Wayne Rooney's record. John Stones gets pushed down in the box. No penalty. It is cleared as far as Joe Gomez. He dinks one back across. John Stones nicks it off of Fabian. Volleys it himself. You ain't getting past David De Gea with shots like that. One of the best keepers in the world. You are not getting past him with shots like that. Harry Maguire is charging forward. Trent alexander on plays it down to Raheem Sterling. No one near him. And he's just going to dribble around. Finds Harry Kane. Finds Sancho. He lays it off to the back post to Luke Shaw. Strikes it first time. And his Manchester United teammate can easily catch that one into his chest. We give away the ball there. And Santi Mina has played through. If you remember him from our Everton career mode, he goes and makes it 1-1. Santi Mina, why would you do that to me, man? I gave you a career in the Premier League with Everton. And you spit it back in my face by scoring against me. But, 47 minutes in. Literally, kickoff has just been taken. Raheem Sterling dinks one over the top to Harry Kane. PK can't keep up. He's then going to be played across to Jadon Sancho. And he tucks it past David De Gea. And two minutes in, a lovely counter-attack. Harry Kane played that ball at the perfect moment. And Zayden Sancho was unmarked in the box, one-on-one. -on -one. And you're always going to bet on the striker in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Sancho now attacking, looking to kind of put the nail in the coffin, make it 3-1. Great strike there by Marcus Rashford. Well saved again by his teammate, David De Gea. Whipped across, Harry Kane headed. Another great save. And then from that resulting corner, Jaden Sancho is going to put it in again. Harry Kane, again. This time it deflects off of Gerard Piquet. And another corner. Sancho, whipped across. Kane, 
and it goes past. Unfortunately, it looked like it was going in. Unfortunately, it did not for us. But we are through to the European Championships 2020 final, where we will take on a team we've played already, Le Français. France in the final. A rematch from the group game in which we won. Hopefully we can replicate that. Hopefully we can lift a piece of silverware with England for the first time in 50 plus years. But they beat Germany 2-0 in the quarterfinals and Italy 1-0 in the semi-finals. So they've had a pretty tough road. Spain played Romania in the first round. Probably the easiest game out of all the knockout rounds. But Loftus-Cheek is starting in the final. He cuts inside. Holds, shrugs off Lamar. He plays a Deli Alley, strikes it, and his teammate makes a save this time with Hugo Lloris being in goal. Two minutes in, Raheem Sterling whips one across. Kane can't quite get on the end of it. it deflects to Gomez. Nothing happens, unfortunately, from that one. 11 minutes in, Tolisso cuts past John Stones quite easily. Plays one through to Usman Dembele, and a great, great, great reaction save there by Jordan Pickford, who keeps it level at 0 0. From the resulting corner, Pogba's going to whip it in. And we are going to get away. And unfortunately can't counterattack from it though. 25 minutes in. The ball is played down to Marcus Rashford. He's got the pace over Dubois. He's dribbled into the box. Three men have been attracted to him. And he tries to dink that one across to Raheem Sterling. But Hugo Lloris can easily jump up and catch that one. And keep it at 0-0. 33 minutes in. They intercept the ball. Then Bele plays back to Tolisso to Dubois. Nicked off him by Kane. Forces a throw in. Rashford's going to take it to Harry Kane. Laid off to Deli Alley, his teammate. All the way across to Trent Alexander-Arnold. He's got a nice cross on him. Raheem Sterling also has a nice cross on him. Plays it across. Harry Kane. 36 minutes in. It is 1-0 to England. And we are, we're winning in the final. How about that? How about that? You wouldn't have expected it at the beginning, would you? But you can see here, it's a very, very close game as most international finals are. It's usually one or two goals between it. It's never a mauling, apart from the World Cup, actually. So I tell a lie. But Madison's on the pitch. He tries to curl that one. And it's a bit weird, but you see there, it actually took a deflection. Nothing happened from the resulting corner, so I have kept it out. Harry Maguire is trying to keep up with Usman Dembele. He's got the pace. And so does Harry Maguire. The, probably the height helps him out with those long legs. But Dembele wins it back, and a Great, great, great reaction tackle there by Luke Shaw. Allow, doesn't allow Usman Demele to get into the box. It's crossed. We chest it down. There's a bit of panic in the box with 10 minutes left. We clear it upfield. And in the 91st minute, Umtiti plays it upfield. Loftus Cheek wins the header back to Stones. Headed all the way back to Pickford. And we have done it. We have won the Euros. Get in. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please like, subscribe. And peace, I will leave you with the title celebrations.